Setting up a mobile crane on a construction site is a critical task that requires careful planning and adherence to safety protocols. The proper setup of a mobile crane is essential for ensuring both the safety of the workers and the productivity of the project. In this video, we will learn 10 crucial steps to follow during the mobile crane setup procedure, emphasizing safety measures and efficiency, but before that let us make a quick overview. What is a mobile crane? Where and why it is used? Mobile cranes are like strong and flexible superhorses on construction sites. They have special powers that allow them to lift heavy objects with ease and accuracy. These incredible machines can move around easily and are used in all kinds of construction and industrial projects. With their long arms that can extend or fold up, Mobile cranes can reach great heights and work in tight spaces. Mobile cranes helping to build tall buildings and important structures and can easily lift and move heavy loads safely and quickly on different work areas. Now, let us understand first, what is the correct method of a mobile crane setting up on site and what are the ultimate benefits from it? And secondly, if not then what might be the consequences if the proper crane setup is not considered prior to start a lifting operation. So, without wasting further time, let's get started. This is a 10-step safe working procedure. We will go through each step one by one. 1. Conduct a pre-job planning. Before starting the setup process, evaluate the construction site, considering factors such as ground conditions, overhead obstructions, and proximity to power lines. Develop a comprehensive lift plan that includes load weight calculations, rigging requirements, and any special considerations. 2. Select an appropriate location. Identify a stable and level ground area for positioning the crane. Ensure that the chosen spot can support the crane's weight and has enough space for its outriggers to extend fully. 3. Perform an equipment inspection. Thoroughly examine the crane for any signs of damage or mechanical issues. Check the hydraulic system, outriggers, brakes, hooks, and wire ropes. Ensure that the crane is in proper working condition before proceeding. 4. Assemble and stabilize the crane. Follow the manufacturer's instructions to assemble the crane properly. Extend the outriggers fully and position them on stable ground or place suitable cribbing underneath for additional support. Use level indicators to ensure the crane is level in all directions. 5. Secure the crane to the ground. Properly anchor the crane to prevent any accidental movement during operation. Use suitable methods such as ground anchors, concrete ballast, or counterweights, based on the crane specifications and the site conditions. 6. Install warning signs and barriers. Clearly mark the area around the crane with warning signs, cones, and barricades. Restrict access to the crane setup area to authorized personnel only, keeping bystanders and other workers at a safe distance. 7. Check the weather conditions. Assess the weather forecast and be mindful of wind speeds and gusts. Avoid operating the crane during high winds or adverse weather conditions that could compromise stability and pose risks to personnel. 8. Communicate and coordinate with the crew. Establish clear lines of communication with the crane operator and the ground personnel. Implement standard hand signals or radio communication protocols to ensure smooth and efficient operations. 9. Conduct a load test. Before lifting any loads, perform a load test with a known weight to ensure the crane's stability and proper functioning. Monitor the crane's responses during the test and address any abnormalities or deviations. 10. Regularly inspect and maintain the crane. Schedule routine inspections and maintenance of the crane to identify and address any wear and tear, mechanical issues, or safety concerns. 
adhere to manufacturer guidelines for maintenance and keep a detailed record of all inspections and repairs. If you are watching for the first time, kindly subscribe it and press the bell icon for all future notifications. And if you find the video informative, then like, comment and share it with your friends and fellows. After discussing in detail about the crane setting up procedure, let us understand now what might be the possible consequences if you will neglect, overlook or bypass this safe working procedure related to crane lifting operations on site. Dear friends and colleagues, if crane setup is not considered prior to starting a lifting operation, there can be several potential consequences, including 1. Safety risks. Improper crane setup can lead to serious safety hazards for both the operators and the surrounding personnel. It increases the likelihood of accidents, such as crane collapse, load instability, or the crane tipping over. These incidents can result in injuries, fatalities, property damage, and potential legal liabilities. 2. Structural damage. Inadequate crane setup may cause structural damage to the load being lifted, the crane itself, or the surrounding infrastructure. Improper positioning or alignment of the crane can result in excessive stress on the load, leading to damage or even its complete failure. Similarly, the crane may damage nearby structures, equipment, or utilities if not positioned correctly. 3. Project delays and disruptions. If crane setup is not adequately planned, it can lead to delays in the lifting operation. Incorrect positioning, insufficient space for maneuvering, or the need for repositioning the crane can result in time-consuming adjustments and rework. This can cause project delays and disruptions, affecting overall productivity and potentially increasing costs. 4. Financial implications. The consequences of inadequate crane setup can have financial implications. Accidents or damage may result in costly repairs, legal expenses, and potential fines. Additionally, project delays and disruptions can lead to increased labor costs, extended equipment rental fees, and potential penalties due to missed project deadlines. 5. Reputational damage. Failure to consider crane setup properly reflects poorly on the organization's professionalism and commitment to safety. Accidents or delays caused by negligent crane setup can damage the company's reputation and erode client trust. This can impact future business opportunities and partnerships. To avoid these consequences, it is crucial to thoroughly plan and consider crane setup before initiating any lifting operation. This includes assessing the load requirements, selecting the appropriate crane type and capacity, conducting site surveys, ensuring proper ground conditions and stability, and providing adequate training and supervision to crane operators. Compliance with applicable safety regulations and industry best practices is essential to mitigate risks and ensure a safe and successful lifting operation. At the end, would like to say that setting up a mobile crane on a construction site demands careful planning, adherence to safety protocols, and meticulous attention to detail. By following the 10 steps we have discussed in this training session, including pre-job planning, equipment inspection, secure anchoring, and clear communication, you can ensure both the safety of personnel and the productivity of the project. Remember to conduct regular maintenance and inspections to keep the crane in optimal condition. By prioritizing safety and efficiency during the mobile crane setup procedure, you can contribute to the successful completion of construction projects while minimizing risks, and that's all for now. If you find the video informative, then do not forget to subscribe to my channel, like, comment and share my video. Wish to see you soon with a new HSE tutorial. Until then take care, and good luck.